Uh, hello there, gang. Your chap Devere here, just for a very quick fix for the Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 4 lost connection to servers errors. Uh, it seems for the latest patch, along with the indestructible tanks, it's reintroduced for a lot of players on the PC this old problem. You'll be playing along, suddenly your game will freeze, and you'll be dumped back to your to your game's desktop, and the error message will say you have lost connection to the EA servers. Now, if you understand your router software, you can simply go straight to your router software. You can set up a forwarding port for UDP 3659. However, if you don't want to muck around in your router software, or you maybe not have access to it, or the correct permissions, there's another way to do it. First of all, go to the link I'll put in the description below, and download this program called Smart Port Forwarding. It's a completely free program, you don't need to pay anything for it. It's a very small download as well, so download it, unzip it and install it as you normally would. Once installed, double click on the icon and you'll be met with this little interface. Very Spartan looking. Right click in the white space and select add new forwarding port. On the left here where it says protocol, select UDP. Under listen port, highlight it and type 3659 and OK it. And that's it, that's all you need to do. Now start up Battlefield 1 or Battlefield 4 as normal, begin playing, and you should no longer get the connection error. Also, it's always saved, so if I come back to it in future, that's been saved. You might sometimes have to restart the service. Easy enough, click on it, so it's highlighted, right click, then choose Start Selected. Once you see it running, start playing. And that should be it. So uh, if this has fixed the problem for you, please let me know in the comments. This wasn't actually my fix. I, I got this back from the, the Battlelog forums back in Battlefield 4, maybe even Battlefield 3 days. Losing connections to EA servers is not a new problem by any stretch of the imagination, unfortunately. And as I say, this latest patch does seem to have caused it for a lot of people. So hopefully that will have fixed your errors. So, so let me know in the comments if it has. So I hope if you're having the problems, you found this video useful or interesting, and... Uh, as ever, gang, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to let me know that you're alive. And I shall see you all next time. Bye now.